Hi, this is Oliveira with Brands Gateway and in this video I'll explain how to easily install our app for Shopify. So to start with you need to open your Shopify admin panel and on the left side from your dashboard click on apps and then search for Brands Gateway. So this is our app for Shopify, you need to click on it first, uh, then select uh, add app. and click on install app. So with this, we have successfully installed the app and now on the left side under your Shopify dashboard, you can see Brands Gateway app. So at this next step, you need to choose a plan for your Shopify store. We offer two different plans. One is the monthly package, which costs $295 per month. And the other one is the yearly plan, which costs 1695 and it's built yearly. Uh, the, both packages include the same features and the only difference is in the time duration and that the yearly package offers you a bigger discount. So for the purpose of this video, um, I'll just select this one and you will, once you decide which plan to go with, simply click on activate. Once you've activated the plan, you will need to approve the charge. And once you have approved the charge, you have successfully installed our app and your subscription is activated. So we're going to go through all of the steps uh, together. And uh, this is just some basic setups for your store. So first you will need to insert your email address over here and click on a validate API. And um, please note that you will need to use the same email address here as on as on your Brands Gateway account. Uh, next, we will be setting the general settings for the store, such as the, the currency, uh, the language. Our catalog is offered in English and German, and then the price rounding. Here you can select this feature if you'd like the brand name to be included inside the product name. Next is the synchronization settings. The synchronization settings show which features will be influenced by Brands Gateway. For example, if you'd like to change the titles and descriptions of your products you, or translate them in your own language, you will need to uncheck those uh, buttons otherwise once the system gets updated they will go back to their original state as on brands gateway once you're done with the synchronization settings you will need to agree to our terms and conditions and then click on register uh, next is the brands filter on the brands filter you can choose to include or exclude all, uh, any of the brands Automatically, all of the brands are selected. So if you'd like to exclude any of them and do not import them, simply uncheck the boxes in front of those brands. And once you're done, done with setting this, you can scroll down to the bottom and click on save and continue. Next one is the vendors filter, which works exactly the same with the brands filter. So if you don't, if you don't like to import any uh, of the products from certain vendors, simply uncheck those vendors or uh, click the option to select them all. And once you're done, click on save and continue. And uh, with this, we've come to the final step, which is category mapping. Category mapping is needed for the import of our products to your Shopify store. There are two ways to do the initial uh, import. So one is by selecting all of the categories and the other one is by adding the mappings manually. So we're going to go through them uh, together. Let's start first one first with the selecting all categories. So this feature, once you select all categories, what this will do for you on the left side under retailer category, it will list all of Brands Gateway's categories. Now what is left here to do is you need to go to each one and click on the edit button and then match them with your Shopify manual collections. Please note that under Dropshipper category, only your Shopify manual collections will be displayed. Automated collections are used for filtering the products after the initial import is done. 
So uh, for the purpose of this video, I've took the liberty and I've already created uh, some uh, Shopify manual collections. And now when I click on this button here, I can see my Shopify collections. So what you need to do with this feature is match Brands Gateways retailer category with your dropshipper categories. So if I select accessories, I wish my accessories to be imported uh, to my accessories, uh, accessories collection on Shopify. And then you will need to select your markup. Please note that uh, the minimum markup requirement is 1.5. And then you can set a fixed shipping value per category. Uh, the fixed shipping value feature uh, offers you to add a, a shipping fee inside the final price without your customer's knowledge. So uh, you will need to, to do the same for each category. And uh, once you are done with this, uh, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on start import once you start the initial import uh, the products will start importing to your Shopify store another way of doing the initial import is by clicking on add mapping um, with this you can manually select which categories you wish to import to your store for example under retailer category on the left side you can select accessories and then you can match it under dropshipper category with your Shopify collections. In this case, I'll select accessories. Uh, then you select the, the markup of your liking and you add a fixed shipping value, which is optional. And then you can add a different mapping. Uh, let's go this time with something uh, different. Let's select bags for men. And then under dropshipper categories, I'll choose my main collection. I can select here a different um, markup. And on this category, you can choose to add a different fixed shipping value, the same one, or just leave it at zero. So repeat the process with all of the all of the mappings that all of the categories that you wish to import to your store. And once you're ready, you can click on save. Once you click save, the initial import will start. Please note that in case you're importing all of our inventory, it might take up to five, five or six hours. Uh, you can always track the import process on your dashboard. So click on dashboard. Uh, so under your dashboard, you can always check the import process. So um, at, at this point we've selected uh, two categories to be imported to my store. And um, now I can see that under create, there's um, 1400 products. So this, this is the number of products that are being imported to my Shopify store. And then the total number is the pro number of products that are already imported to the Shopify store. You can always refresh this and give it some time for the products to actually import. Feel free to reach out uh, to our support team at support at brandsgateway.com if you have any other questions 